Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Prob here and today we're taking a look at the Sigma 60mm f2.8 with a micro four thirds mount. This compact lens is made for crop sensor bodies which means it can cover both APS-C as well as micro four thirds sensors. The lens is also available in Sony E-mount to fit Sony crop sensor bodies. The camera I'll be using to test this lens for this review is the Lumix G7. Now I've personally owned this lens for about 10 months now and mostly I use it to shoot close up product shots. This is a great hybrid lens for both photo and video purposes but the real place where this lens shines is in photography. I would not suggest this lens if you want to do long focus pulls during video or wish to control the aperture smoothly. Also I would quickly like to say that if you're someone new to this channel consider subscribing as we do a lot of tech and camera gear reviews and your support is highly appreciated. Okay so one thing that I love about Sigma lenses is that they come with a very nicely padded carrying case that you can use to store the lens after using it. The lens itself comes with a plastic lens hood and a pinch style lens cap. Regarding build quality, most of the lens is metal, especially the focus ring which covers a major part of the body of the lens. Now this big focus ring might seem cheap and plasticky in the video, but it actually feels pretty nice in the hand. The lens mount on the back is made of metal as well and it certainly adds up to the durability of the lens. Overall the lens weighs about 190 grams and it balances very nicely onto the Lumix G7. In terms of field of view, the lens provides a 120mm full frame equivalent focal length on micro four thirds bodies or about 90mm on Sony E-mount cameras. Moving on to autofocus, the autofocus performance from this lens is very impressive. Paired with the Lumix G7 in stilts mode, the autofocus is extremely fast and accurate. Moreover, the lens uses a linear autofocus motor which is very quiet while in operation. For manual focus, the lens uses a focus by wire system and the focus ring turns forever in either direction without any hard stops at minimum focusing distance or at infinity focus. Regarding image quality, in simple terms this is a sharp lens. For photography with my Lumix G7, I have not seen any major drawbacks in terms of image rendition. Regarding chromatic aberration, yes there is some chromatic aberration wide open at f2.8 but it is very well controlled and only shows up if you start to pixel peep. Overall in terms of image quality, both for photography and video use, this lens is plenty sharp and would not let you down with the results. Something that I personally didn't like about this lens is that firstly the lens does not have optical image stabilization so you have to use slightly faster shutter speeds for photography purposes or for video you definitely need to use a tripod or a gimbal to get usable results. Secondly this lens is not weather sealed so if you're using it with something like a GH5 or GH4 you have to be careful of your surroundings. Also, something I want to mention is that the lens makes a rattling sound when the camera is off and although this is totally normal, it just feels if something is broken inside the lens. So in the end, would I recommend this lens? And my answer is yes. This is a very sharp prime for the Micro Four Third or Sony E-mount system and it is very capable for both photography and video purposes and it doesn't have much competition in its given price point. So that's it for this one guys. If you found this video helpful, definitely let me know by hitting that like button. So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.